Hey everybody, welcome to another Addictive Fishing Tutorial. My name is Jordan Kanigi, and today we're going over a little bit of the basics on how to put fishing line on a spinning reel. So if you guys want to learn more about how to do this, stay tuned, it's coming at you right now. So to get this video kicked off, if you guys don't know who we are, we're Addicted Fishing. We aim to educate, entertain, and inspire anglers like you to get out there and have more fun on the water. If you haven't already done so, go down here and hit subscribe, hit that little bell notification so that you see when these videos are coming out, and be sure to leave a comment and a like below so that these videos get out there so more people can see them. All right, so to get this started, you guys, what we have here is a 15 pound braided tough line. This works the same for monofilament or braid or fluorocarbon or any size of line, whether it's 15 pound or 100 pound braid. But what we're gonna do to start, we're gonna take this out of the package, we're gonna grab our line. I'm gonna set my spool down on the ground here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed this through this top guide. I don't need to run it through all my guides to start with. It makes it a little bit easier to manage and it makes me have to do less work to get started. I'm gonna put this between my knees. Make sure this bale is open. A big mistake a lot of people make is they'll leave that bale closed, they'll put their line on there and they go to start reeling and there's nothing there to grab it with that little rolling pin. So I'm gonna open my bale and to get myself started, I'm just gonna lay that end Lay the middle of that line on there. I'm gonna wrap it around three or four times here, just like so. So what I'm gonna to do to secure this on there is just a couple overhand knots. So I'm just gonna grab that line, take my tag in, wrap it through that hole that I made twice, and then pull it tight. Do it again. Wrap it two or three times through that eye that I created. Pull it tight. Make sure to get it nice and tight there or else that line won't grab onto your spool when you start to spin it. Grab my trusty pair of Gerber scissors here. They're made for cutting braid, work really well. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close that bale, get that right in that little rolling pin there. So now that I have that secured on my bale, I'm gonna grab my line right below that bottom guide and I'm gonna hold it ever so slightly with a little bit of pressure so that I'm not getting a loose line on my reel here. If you reel it on there loose and just pull it off of that, you're gonna get tangles and you're gonna have a really loose setting on that line on your spool and what's gonna happen is you're gonna go to cast and big chunks of that line is gonna come off and it's not gonna cast well. So I'm gonna hold a little bit of pressure with my fingertips and I'm just gonna slowly reel that line up and down, up and down until this thing's full. And you don't have to do this super slow, you guys. As long as you're holding that slight resistance with your, with your fingertips up here, you're gonna be all right if you do this nice and fast. So one thing that's really crucial when doing this is you don't want to overfill your spool, but you also don't want to underfill it. The reason that the spool is sized the way it is and you put the right amount of line on it is it makes it cast better. So by doing so and by having it at that perfect area, and if you lose a lot of line, going and putting more line on your reel is going to be crucial because it's going to help you cast. If you have too little of line on there, your line's going to hang up on your spool as it starts to cast because it has to go across that big head of that spool. If you have too much line, all that line's going to fly off even before you cast as soon as you open your bale. So having that perfect amount of line on there is very, very crucial in doing this. Don't try to salvage your line too much and end up giving yourself a bad spool. So right about there is just about perfect. Some reels actually have a little line on here that show you where you wanna be, but the way I kinda gauge it is if you're just inside that little spool curve here, that little angle on the top of that spool, again, designed to let that line come off there freely. If it's all the way out here to the outside rim of it, all that line's gonna be coming off without any resistance from that little angle of that spool. So that right there is exactly what it should look like, a perfect spool, not too much, not too little, just like baby bear's porridge. I'm gonna go ahead and use my trusty scissors here, cut that braid. Now I'm gonna open my bale up, pull this the rest of the way through my guides and get to fishing. So a little trick I like to use when I run this through my guides so that if I drop my line, it doesn't go all the way back through my fishing rod, especially if I'm using a longer one, is I like to fold that line over in half, just like so, pinch it tight so you have a little bit of a loop there. So that way, if I drop my line and it falls back through there, you can see it gets caught and it doesn't slide all the way back down to my reel. And I have to go back and forth over and over again, having my buddies laugh at me while I'm over here trying to line up my reel and get my rod ready. There it is, you guys. Trout rod, ready to go fishing. All right, so now that we have that all rigged up, ran through all our guides, we have this beautiful little trout stream behind us, so I'm just gonna add a little spinner here, run my line through, and just do a normal fisherman's knot. Spinners work great for catching trout or salmon or steelhead or bass, whatever you can find in your local area, wherever you're at in the world. 
What I'm gonna do there, I'm gonna run that through the guide. You saw I wrapped it around about six or seven times, created that little eye right above the eye of my lure. I'm gonna run my line right through that little eye that I've created, just like so. I'm gonna hold the tag in that I've created and I'm gonna slowly pull that tight, just like so. Trim my tag in, just like that, and we're ready to fish. Oh, that was a giant one. Got him. Cute little thing. There you have it, you guys. Little baby fish. So that, everybody, is how you successfully put line on your reel for any style of fishing on any size of rod or any size of line. If you guys want to learn more about fishing, go down here, hit subscribe, and check out our YouTube channel, Addicted Fishing. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below with any questions you have or anything you need to know about fishing or any techniques that you want to learn more and more about in these videos. Thank you so much for tuning in today, you guys. You stay fishing, and we'll see you out there.